Hi and welcome to my channel. So career progression, having a better life for ourselves, for our families, for our children, for our future, you know, dependence, as well as just having that safety and feeling, you know, a place of belonging are just some of the few reasons why many of us move to the UK. So Career progression is something that is vital for you to feel that it's all been worth it. I'm saying this because many people move to the UK and feel as if it's not been worth it for them. But I'm going to tell you in this video three things that I did and that you can do as well to help me progress in my career in the UK really quickly. Obviously, you know, everybody's going to be different, but I can tell you that no matter the sector in which you are, no matter the industry in which you are, there are certain values that are going to put you for success. It does not matter the industry, it does not matter the role that you're doing, but having these three values that I was able to cultivate and to carry with me through my journey, it's helped me progress pretty quickly. Just to put some context here, when I started in the UK, I was a band one carer working in a nursing home, you know, supporting people in that home. But then I decided that I was, I wanted to get into nursing. So I did, you know, my nursing course as an international student here in the UK. When I graduated, I decided that, look, I could do more. I wanted to be more. I wanted to do more as a nurse and that I was capable of more. So I have progressed really well after that to now working as an advanced nurse practitioner for the nhs which is one of the most senior clinical nursing positions here in the uk and in nursing globally so but there are three skills it didn't just happen as a coincidence it wasn't just that i woke up one day and i was like oh my god i'm so lucky no everything is very intentional there are certain skills that you must develop along the way and carry on with them so in this video i'm going to be telling you what those three skills are how I went about it and what you could do as well to help and support you. So if you're new to the channel, obviously you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate the time you take to watch these videos and I hope that you are implementing all of what I'm talking about in these videos because I'm all about implementation and not taking things for granted, not hearing things. You don't want to be hearing things. You want to be taking things, reflecting on those things and then actually implementing so that you're supported in your own journey if you feel that obviously this is relevant and this is helpful. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, obviously you do want to hit subscribe right now. Turn on that notification button so you're the first to be notified when I drop a new video on here. But if you want to take it even a step further, then you can join my newsletter, which I'm going to drop a link in the comment section below. You just need to drop your name and your email and you get notifications from myself. If there's any important update about career progression in the UK, you know, side hustle opportunities, work from home opportunities, because those are all things that I'm passionate about because I'm on a mission to retire by the time I'm 40 years old. Because look, I've realized that as much as career progression is good, I need to do more to be able to retire early and to live a good life because I'm before I'm full of arthritis and other things obviously set in. So if you want to join me in this journey, obviously, then join that newsletter. So the first thing that I did, obviously, was the confidence, the confidence that I'm able to do it, the confidence that I'm capable of doing it and the confidence that I can lead, manage, you know, and be just like anyone else. And I'm going to tell you this. Nobody knows everything. I don't know everything. I don't know anything. But I'm always open and willing to learn. When you want to progress in anything, like I say, this is going to apply in any career, anything that you're doing, you need to be open-minded and willing to learn. If I go to work, it doesn't matter whether you're a cleaner, you're a porter, you're a consultant, you're a doctor, you're a nurse, you're a pharmacist, you're an occupational therapist. I am open to learning from everybody. That is one thing that in order to progress, you need to have that confidence to approach people and ask for things, ask for information, trust in yourself. As in inside of you, you need to trust that you are capable of doing that thing that you want. If you don't have that trust, you don't have that confidence in yourself, then look, it's going to be very difficult to exude that confidence so that other people see it in you. Because look, if you don't trust yourself, why should I trust you? That is a question you need to be asking. If you don't trust yourself, if you don't believe that you're capable and deserving, then why should someone else? And this is the m big challenge for many people, you know, in this beautiful country, you know, because if you don't feel that you're deserving and that you're able, then it's going to be hard. And the thing is, look, let me tell you, 
even if you don't feel that you're able to do it, you're still going to be doing the job at a higher level, but paid at a lower level just because you're not having that confidence to put yourself out there. So it is very important, gain the confidence you need to be able to put yourself out there. And that is one of the most important factors that I have developed in my career in the UK is the confidence to say, look, I'm, I don't know this, but I'm willing to learn. I'm going to put myself forward. I'm going to be open to learning and open to teaching. So that is the first thing, confidence. And look, in case you don't know who I am and you're new here, Obviously, my name is Melvis and I have a private career coaching program where I support nurses, carers, midwives, student nurses with career progression in the UK. And these things I'm talking about, I take a lot of time to teach in my private coaching program to make you know, colleagues understand that, look, you are capable and you're also good enough for those jobs that you want. And that the same motivation that you use to come to the UK, you need to carry that with you and even more for you to succeed. Because what's happening is many colleagues are coming with such positivity, but once they get here, they feel so deflated. So if you're keen, you know, if you check the about section, of this YouTube channel, you're going to see a link to join my private coaching program, Nursing Career Bootcamp, and you can get that support that you need and that you rightfully deserve. And look, this leads me beautifully to mentorship. The second thing that I've learned and mastered in the UK is seeking mentorship. Look, without mentorship, I would never have been able to progress as much as I did in such a short period of time. I understand that there are people that have been there, done what I want to do, and can support me through that journey. And mentorship, there are two major things that I've noticed with mentorship in the UK. Mentorship can be free and it can be paid. And I personally take on both types of mentorship. In fact, in the last 12 months alone, I have spent about £13,000 on personal development for myself from, from various mentors. And when I talk about personal development, it's not only about my career as a nurse. There are other things that I do outside of nursing that I also need mentorship with. And I gladly pay for those services because I want to be taught by the people who have been there, done that and have the time to dedicate to me and support me through that process. So if you want to succeed, excel and thrive in the UK, especially without wasting a lot of time, you need mentorship. Whatever type of mentorship you have is going to depend on what you do or what you want to do on the sector in which you are, you know. But what I found is the advantage of paid mentorship is that there is a structure to what you're getting and there is a plan as well. Free mentorship is also good and it's got its own place, but the difference is the challenges with the UK being so busy, people got families, it can be very challenging. What I'm saying is, for example, you may have your manager, for example, who's willing to help you, but she may not have the time to really dedicate to help you as much as you need. So that is free mentorship, for example, but it doesn't mean that people don't want to support you, but they just don't have the time. You could also have a friend who has progressed in their career and they're willing to help you, but they don't have the time again to dedicate and support you one to one for an interview. Again, that may be challenging. So again, there is a place and time you need to find a balance between free mentorship and paid mentorship, ideally. And like I say, this is one thing that I have been able to take advantage of to make sure that I'm getting mentors for everything that I'm doing. You know, if I'm having, I have quite two different side businesses that I do, as well as my nursing career, and I make sure that I don't take any business decision without having mentorship in that particular sector. And when I talk about mentorship, I mean, I'm going to find somebody who is an expert in that thing. I'm going to pay if they have a course or one-to-one -one mentorship programs. I'm going to be part of that because that is the easiest way that I've found to learn in the shortest possible time. Because if you have somebody, if you want to start a healthcare business, for example, and you have somebody who's been in the business, in the industry for 20 years, has a track record, is successful, they are going to tell you everything that you need to know in the shortest amount of time. You don't need to take time, you know, watch YouTube videos and go through this. It's very difficult. There's a place and time for YouTube videos, but the structure that you get from one-to-one -one support or group support is something that you must value and is going to help you with your career progression in the UK. So that's the second thing, mentorship. It doesn't matter whether it's free or paid, but you need mentorship. And then the third thing, is flexibility and being open to change look if you're enjoying this content i want you to like the video if you've got any questions do leave them in the comment section below if you haven't joined my newsletter you do want to join that newsletter check the comment section below and join you don't want to be a stranger here because i want you to excel thrive be able to succeed in your career in the uk have the same enthusiasm that you had you know whether you were studying at uni trying to move to the uk or whatever 
but be able to carry on with that. So having flexibility, you know, it's going to crown the previous two points that we've mentioned. So if you have the confidence and you have the mentorship, then you need a flexibility because career progression means that as you're learning things, you're going to change your mind and that is okay. As you're learning more and you're progressing further, things are going to change and that's what I've done. You know, flexibility could be to move towns, for example. You know, if you are somebody who is an immigrant, for example, why are you staying in a particular town? Are you able to move somewhere else? Those are some of the things that you need to think about. Change. Do you need to change your previous habits to carry on new habits that are going to enable you grow or get whatever you want? You need to think about that. That is change and flexibility. So the more flexible you are, the more successful you're going to be. If you're very fixed, you're like, oh my God, you know, I moved to London and I'm not able to move out of London because I'm a London girl or whatever, it's going to be tough. If you're like, oh, I've worked on a stroke ward for six years and this is my place, I'm not able to work anywhere else, then that's going to be tough. So you need to be open-minded and make sure that you're embracing change because even as professionals, we are encouraged to change, you know, there's policies, there's things that happen and you do need to change. So it's the same thing as well with your career. And look, you can't just have one of these things. You need all these things. These are just the main points that I wanted to raise. So how do you feel about this? Leave any comments in the comment section below so that we can discuss further. Again, if you haven't joined my newsletter, do join. If you're keen on getting support from me, then consider joining my private coaching program, which if you check the about section of this YouTube channel, you're going to see a link to join that private coaching program. And then we can actually go through these things in much detail you know, because by the time you're thinking about the pathways, you're like, oh, what pathway do I need? If you don't have these other things, it's going to be difficult because it's not about the pathways. It is about, first of all, the mindset. Then secondly, you need the right environment, you know, the right vibes. And then obviously you need the guidance, the direction, and then the flexibility to embrace different things are going to come up. You know, I've had some of my plans that I've had before, like, oh, I'm going to do this job, then I do this one, but better opportunities come up along the way and you think, hmm, should I try this on and see what it's going to lead to? There are other people in my private coaching program as well that wanted other pathways, but when they've listened to other members of the program, what they are going through, they've said, hmm, Melvis, I think I should try this. That is what you need to succeed, excel and to thrive. If you're very fixed on your own ideas, it's going to be tough. So you need the confidence to believe, to trust, and to know that you're capable and deserving and two, you need the mentorship, the guidance. And then three, you need the flexibility. So this is in the kind of macro level. Obviously, you can break these down into all different sorts of issues, challenges, points. But the truth is that you need these as the main ingredients for your success, you know, for you to progress, for you to thrive. So leave a comment in the comment section. What do you think about these? What has your experience been? If you're still out of the UK, what are your plans when you get into this beautiful country? If you're already in the UK, how have you found the process? You know, do you think that these three points I've said, are they going to help anyhow? So watch the videos I've done on the channel, interview preparation, various career pathways that you can have, you know, as a nurse, how to progress from a carer to a nurse in the UK. And, you know, just all these different tips, ideas, advice to help all of us. Like I say, I'm always learning and learning um, is an ongoing process. It's a lifelong process. And so that's what you need to embrace. You know, you need to do new courses. You need to do those courses. If you need to unlearn something that you've already learned, you need to unlearn it. So thank you very much. Subscribe to the channel, share this video with your loved ones that can get the help that they need, the support that they need, um, so that obviously we're excelling together, we're thriving together, and we're able to live our best lives here in the UK and not regret um, what brought us here in the first place, because that's what I'm all about. Yes, it's good to move to the UK, but it's more important what you do when you move here. Take advantage of those opportunities. Thank you. Bye for now. Keep watching the video.